My brothers, my sisters, we have begun this season of Advent, the beginning of the church year, where we anticipate, where we prepare for the coming of the Lord, for Christmas, for the birth of our Savior into the world, for the birth of our Savior into our lives, that we're aware of his presence in our lives more fully, more completely. At the same time, Isaiah, this past Sunday, gives light to the situation where we really find ourselves. Um, We've wandered from God consciousness. We've wandered from the realization that God is with us and governing every moment of our lives, every hour of the day, every day of the week, every week of the month, every month of the year. There's no way you and I can be God conscious of all those moments. It's impossible. It's humanly impossible. But the gospel according to Mark invites us to wake up, to be watchful, to be aware of our God consciousness. How to do that? Maybe what we need to do is take moments in every given day and take those moments to deliberately try to bring about God consciousness. So maybe at the beginning of the day, I need to mark the day with a prayer of gratitude and list out things that I am grateful for and that I'm conscious of as gifts from God. Maybe during the course of the day, I need to look at the little blue book that we are sharing throughout our parish for a meditation to give focus to the day. Maybe I need to stop and go to the website to access the readings this church provides for that day. Maybe at the end of the day, I need to get on my hands and knees and express gratitude for the gift of the day, because that gift of the day is given to you by God, by the Lord. It's not yours, it's a gift given to you, to be grateful for that. When we punctuate our day with those God-conscious moments, my brothers and my sisters. That's how we're watchful. That's how we're awake. That's how we prepare for the coming of the Lord. And the habit of doing that, the discipline of doing that, orients us more completely to preparing for the Lord. May our Advent be about that type of participation.